now cradled the Super Specialty Hospital with a blend of spiritual architecture infused with modern functionality. The gates of love of the hospital opened that preordained day, November 22nd, 1991. Basking in spirituality, radiating love and peace on everyone that walked through its gates, stood a marvelous, imposing structure like a celestial palace, with its two extensions resembling loving arms to welcome the sick and the needy, irrespective of economic status, religion, nationality, race or color. Here, the patient saw the new face of the medical profession, a place that offered freedom. Freedom from financial anxieties that come with expensive, specialized treatment. Here, they could walk in without their wallets into an atmosphere of loving care and spirituality to realize that they were not just in a hospital, but were in a temple of healing. The hospital's first recipient of this love and grace was Vijay Bhaskar Reddy. An open heart surgery was performed on him at the time specified by Sri Satya Sai Baba a year ago. 14 at the time of his surgery, Reddy, now 30, continues to live in the district visiting the hospital for follow-ups. Within three hours, four major cardiac surgeries were successfully performed. Cardiology and cardiothoracic surgery departments were the first to start functioning, and 17,000 of both open and closed heart surgeries have been performed to date, free of charge. The department is seeing an increase in pediatric cases with congenital heart conditions. This part of Andhra Pradesh population is quite poor, relatively more poor than uh, and less privileged than the other parts of the country. And therefore, if they are afflicted with any serious trouble uh, of heart and other, they, they cannot simply afford, they cannot even, uh, cannot be diagnosed even. And therefore, uh, at that time at least, this hospital provided a great help. And uh, uh, with open arms, people were welcome to this hospital for treatment. And so all heart patients started streaming into this. The amazing thing about the hospital is not only uh, are these wonderful people who have no access to this type of, of care, medical care, uh, if you, in the United States where I'm from, if you spend 45 minutes to an hour in the emergency room, it's going to cost you $2,000, $3,000 today. Uh, if you were to have an open heart surgery, you're talking about $200,000 for an operation in the recovery time. Here was the dream or a vision of a saintly man or God man or God, whichever way you want to see. Each person has his own per perception. I felt that if I have a small role to play in furtherance of the mission, there cannot be anything more fruitful for my life than this. Here is a place wherein I found that you got the opportunity to give high-tech uh, cardiac care to patients who possibly could not have dreamt this whole lifetime. I am just one of those minuscule instruments selected by Swami to deliver it. The uniqueness See, uniqueness is here. I don't hear any other hospital if I'm working, if a patient comes uh, with a heart attack. Just now, one of my other colleagues, patient arrived today with a heart attack just about an hour back. Immediately, they wheeled him to the cath lab, catheterization lab. They have done the angiogram. They found a block in the vessel. They are going ahead, opening the vessel and putting a stent. What we call in medical or cardiological parlance as primary angioplasty. The whole of this procedure done elsewhere, anywhere in any corporate setup, costs, makes you poorer by at least to 2.5 lakh Indian rupees. Now this patient 
whatever be his social or economic background gets all of this totally free of cost show me any other such institution in the world i i am ready to quit if you are able to show that and it mind you most important is the patient is never made to feel inferior that he is obliged on this because we are given it free we are swami is giving we are just facilitators for it patient is never made to feel that we are giving you free that feeling is not there number 1 number 2 there is no pressure or proselytization of any form that because we have given you free you have to become a sai converter nothing although this hospital is housed in a rural setting 3 hours away from the nearest metropolitan city it has never been a cause for concern for any of the departments in this hospital as they are outfitted with the latest diagnostic and surgical equipments bhagwan takes special interest in the how each and every patient is managed uh in the early days in the darshan lines he would ask us about like how many cases we do every day then uh, uh once in a while he would he is all knowing you know he one day when i did one case it was uh tough i had to redo the case so next day he it was again in a 5 year old kid so next day in the darshan line he says ha tough tha magar baad mein sab theek ho gaya so nobody has gone and given him that report but he is he knows about it also when he comes to our hospital he sees to it that he talks to each and every patient in our icu when he comes uh, he will be asking patients from where he has come and how is he doing and if the patient is sleeping he'll see to it that we do not wake him up and things like that so all small small personal touches of bhagwan which go a long way in making the person also feel the patient feels so good when he sees bhagwan and we are also very happy that so bhagwan takes lot of interest The Euronephrology department has seen a very large number of patients 330,028 who have needed medical attention because of the extremely high incidence of kidney stones in patients in the region 10% of them have needed surgical interventions a slight drop in the number of surgeries however came with the arrival of the revolutionary non-surgical equipment the lithotripter and it acts as a primary non surgical treatment of stones in adults in pediatric age group and high risk patients the orthopedic departments have gifted mobility to thousands despite severe challenges that come in the form of patients victimized by fluorosis a medical condition that affects bones because of high fluoride content in the water in the region we are doing all uh, types of surgeries like uh, the joint replacement has started with swami's birthday last year 81st swami's birthday and uh, we have done about uh, 25 cases in the short period of 6 months and uh, we are doing the deformity correction corrections by elizaro method we are doing the spinal surgeries where they, they get injuries and they are paralyzed at both the legs and they are those are the cases which are operating and uh, um, we are even doing the normal back ache like disc surgeries and other things and uh, mainly the correct pediatric work is we are doing more because the children who come with the dislocations at the joints at the hip and the um, congenital deformities we are doing the corrective surgeries for them several thousands come in to get the gift of eyesight from the ophthalmology department and leave the hospital with a clear vision of the source of this gift Sixteen years have rolled by the new face of the medical profession thousands came looking for has not weathered from the gates of this hospital through the cleaning floors of the clean hallways that caress the feet of the sick and the weary love is in its pristine form be it in the kitchen where special diets are prepared and provided to patients free of cost or in the laundry room love emanates and pervades throughout i have visited i have had the opportunity actually to work in very very small remote rural hospitals district based hospitals 
excellent industrial hospital, I have visited corporate hospitals, any place you go, the moment you enter, a kind of foreboding, and an eerie kind of a feeling comes into you the moment you step into the hospital. I don't know why. Maybe the smell of the antiseptics, that the whole air is thick. You, I can never find anybody relaxed in the presence of the hospital. This is the first ever place I found, you never feel you are into a hospital. And in fact, uh, Bhagwan Satisai Baba, whose dream child it is, never mentioned it as a hospital, he called it a temple of healing. And it is a temple of healing. At some point in time, uh, Madam Hillary Clinton, was, uh, she got news about these activities and all. And her then Commerce Secretary and the team had visited India, of course, on some official purposes. They came, they visited the hospital, every nook and corner of the hospital they visited. They interacted with the patient themselves. Finally, they got convinced, so much so, that a request had come from Mrs. Clinton that at a suitable time she wanted to visit Puttaparthi. Swami always says, it is not just the act of giving a tablet or an injection to a patient, but if it is given with love and with affection, with some uh, feeling in your heart, it great, greatly satisfies the patient. Um, I'm sure you can get a hold of uh, World Health Organization, who came down a number of years later, did a report on the hospital, were absolutely blown away because the mortality rate is so low because the amount of days that people spend in the hospital is so limited compared to what it is in Europe and America. Uh, they literally spend a couple of days, there's I think a miraculous healing going on on other levels, and they go home. And it has been the greatest joy of my life to be involved in a small degree uh, in this hospital and doing anything for such a side Baba. A cathartic ambience infused with spirituality and love enfolds patients as they stream in, knowing they are in the right hands to be cured and the right place to be healed. Love and service did not stop just in Puttaparthi. The next destination for it was 200 kilometers away in Whitefield, a suburb of Bangalore. Whitefield, the home of the high-tech park, that houses some of the biggest multinational companies, got a super specialty hospital as a new loving neighbor in 2000. Conceived and built in 16 months, on land donated by the state government of Karnataka, this 354,000 square feet tertiary care super specialty hospital sees patients from different economic strata from all over the country as well as abroad. Similar to the super specialty hospital in Puttaparthi, here patients have access to a totally free state-of-the-art tertiary medical care facility delivered with the same exceptional human touch. Once again, here patients have no reason to stop at the payment counter because there is none. Not a penny changes hands. With more than 450,000 patients coming in for consultations, this 333-bed hospital specializing in cardiac and neurosciences has performed more than 34,329 procedures employing sophisticated medical equipment including stealth neural navigation surgery system since its inception. All those who need treatment should be managed here. We don't consider rich poor, we don't ask income. Those who walk through the gates of this hospital and get seeking treatment, we give the treatment. And not substandard, we are one of the best equipped hospitals in the country and also comparable to any of the universities abroad. Equipment includes this almost last six years we have seen right from the beginning. We had neuro navigation systems, we had neuro endoscopic procedures being done, and also laser or you can think of anything that is virtually here for the you know improved results in a patient care situation. Yeah, the rheumatic heart is very very much common disease in India and uh, 
and that too, unfortunately it affects the poor class people. So, um, so it is almost 43 rupees you have to go for outside Bhalo Plasti and it is very difficult on their up, on their part to afford outside. So they come over here in large number here and we are also do almost 7 per day and uh, for last 3-4 years our institute the, I think is, as per the number of performance concerned our is the first in India. People comes with a very bad state with the, the least chance to survive. So we, we took up the case and uh, do angioplasty, holoplasty, they survive and go. It is all because of Swami only. We, we offer everything to him and he takes care of that. A unique process in the functioning of the patient care management is the adoption of the holistic treatment to treat not just what ails the body, but the mind and the spirit as well. While the medicines treat the body, it is the spirit that heals, says Sri Satya Sai Baba. Counseling is done on issues like the power of prayer, faith, adoption of healthy food habits and lifestyle changes. In essence, the patient is emotionally adopted with a firm promise of help for his ailment. So generally, if we are to talk about charitable hospitals, technology is not very high. There is primary secondary care. So here it is high technology and I would like to add one more, high touch, that means there is a human element in care. You, you are compassionate, you look after the patients well and listen to the patient's problems so that patient really gets better. You know, he is relaxed, he feels that there is a divine you know, blessing of Baba. So a lot of people come here. I am Chitruga sir. Chitruga is a heart problem. I am a heart problem. I am a heart problem. I am in the hospital. 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 I am 